Hello everyone and welcome to this first video where we're going to dive into just a high level overview of explaining what is the data connections tool, who should use it, how is it different than your traditional search methods. So let's get right into it. This data connections tool, it allows a user or anybody to discover latent metadata connections between, specifically for this tool, between these business, the Secretary of State's Business Intelligence Center sponsored data sets. We'll take a look at some of those here in a second and then take, a again, a little high-level overview of the difference between how this tool is different than your traditional search methods. So what is the data connections tool? It allows you to, all these different folks, to visually find relevant data sets based on a keyword and then explore those related data sets. So it's gonna do this by providing a search experience that we'll see in a second that more traditional data search methods just don't offer right now. So it's in the back end of this tool, it's using a custom machine learning algorithm to quantify this data set relatedness, quote unquote. And so to give you an example of what a, a snapshot of the tool looks like, in the center here, we have the center node. It represents one data set and this spiral pattern around it are all data sets that are potentially related to this central data set here. The thicker the line or the connection between this center node and any of these out, um, nodes on the outside, the stronger the connection is. So for example, this is Retail Reports um, data set. It is not as strongly related to this data set here, the city areas, as it is to this motor vehicle data set here. And we'll give you an example here. There's another video where we'll really get a chance to dive deep into the tool itself and an explanation of it that way. But to give you an idea about how this could be different than maybe more traditional search methods is these are discovering some latent, some of those like hidden connectedness values. And we'll talk a little bit about methodology in another video as well that more traditional data search models don't offer. So here, I'm going to data.colorado.gov and I've already put in some a search filter here for water and some of these um, tags that I've also added to. This is great for exploring. I'm interested in water. Here are data sets related to water. I get some metadata values about it, and I can explore different sections herein. What happens though is what how this tool is a little bit different is it provides a different experience where now if you're like, great, I am interested in water and sanitation districts in Colorado, you can also start exploring what other data sets are also related to this in unique ways.